What's happening everyone? It's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. I'm going to review and part test the Gavita Pro 1700E LED Grow Light. You'll find this review useful if you've been thinking about buying this light, want to compare this fixture to a similar light, or want to learn more about LED grow lights. This review is not sponsored in any way. The Gavita Pro 1700E came out about two years ago and was an upgrade to the Gavita Pro 1650E. I reviewed the 1650E and was pretty impressed with it. Link below. The 1700E was basically a redesign of the 1650E. The lens covers were removed, the power input was relocated, and the diode placement is a bit different. The light output was also increased by about 50 micromoles per second. Otherwise, the 1700E functions very similarly to the 1650E. Gavita has also released the Gavita Pro 900E, ideal for a 4x4 veg area, and the CT1930, a one-to-one -one replacement for double-ended fixtures. I won't be covering these lights, but i link to them below if you're interested. Before I go more in depth on this review, support our channel and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. The 1700E LED grow light is a full spectrum, low profile, high intensity fixture used for horizontal or multi-layer commercial grows, greenhouses, grow rooms, low rooms, and tents. This LED grow light is 44.1 by 43.7 by 2.3 inches and it weighs 28.4 pounds. It contains 8 conformally coated PCBs backed by aluminum heat sinks. The LED bars are held in place by the I-shaped frame. Two 120 volt to 277 volt Phillips drivers are encased in the middle of the fixture. The 1700E is ready to plug and play out of the box. All you need to do is connect the power cord into the side of the fixture and plug it in. Included is an 8 foot power cord with a voltage of your choice, 120 volts, 240 volts, or 277 volts. At the time of this review, the light comes with a free Gavita E-Series adapter, which is needed to connect the light to a controller. The controller will automatically turn on and off one or many lights at specified times, dim them between 50% and 100% intensity, and ramp up or down the light intensity at the beginning or end of the light schedule. Without a controller, the fixture is powered to 100% light intensity. Ratchet hangers are also included with each light. This fixture comes with a 5-year manufacturer's warranty, is DLC, UL, and ETL certified for commercial grow applications, and is IP66 wet rated. You will find 3,336 Samsung white and Osram deep red diodes in this fixture, which emit a full spectrum from deep blue to far red. Based on the spectrum graph, it looks like Gavita uses around a 4,000 Kelvin white light diode for the main spectrum and to deliver the intensity, and a 660 nanometer red diode to round out the spectrum and increase efficiency. This spectrum is ideal for seedling to harvest growth while keeping plants compact, increasing flower quality, and shortening the flowering period. This grow light comes in at 2.6 micromoles per joule with a light output of 1,700 micromoles per second. The Pro 1700E LED draws 670 watts at 5.4 amps on 120 volts according to Gavita. At 112 volts, I measured the fixture to be about 685 watts at 6.11 amps. When ran on 240 volts, the 1700E will draw slightly fewer watts and half the amperage. The heat output is 2,284 BTUs per hour from a single fixture. Overall, the heat load and power draw is around 33% less than a 1000 watt HID fixture. Expect to use significantly less HVAC as well. The 1700 micromole per second light output suggests that this fixture is best used in a 4x4 to 5x5 area. It'll flower a strong 4x4 or less intense 5x5 area. Since it is less than 48 inches in length and width, it'll fit into a 4x4 grow tent. When flowering, it is recommended that this light is used about 18 inches above the plants, but will range from 12 inches to 36 inches depending on how many you're using in your grow area and the light intensity that you want to deliver to your plants. If using these lights to veg, you can dim them down 50% and use them in the same 4x4 to 5x5 footprint without adjusting the height. At full intensity, they'll cover about a 7x7 area at about 40 to 48 inches above the plants. I took some PAR measurements of the 1700E in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent at 5 different distances. These measurements will demonstrate the high light output and really good uniformity. At closer distances, you'll notice that if your plants get really close to the bars, the light intensity is not high enough to do serious damage to them. Let's take a look at those PAR readings now. And the first reading is going to be at 36 inches. 
where right in the middle, it's hitting 777 PPFD. To the back, about 660. Corner, just under 600. And this left side, around 658. And notice how we have really good uniformity throughout because the light's so high and we have all these reflective surfaces. All right, and the next reading is at 24 inches, so a little bit closer, a little higher of a center reading, about 965, and moving to the back. Looks like 830, and the corner, just under 700, and this other side, about 760. So a little more intensity throughout. And notice the good uniformity on this. Obviously towards the edges and corners, it's dropping down a lot, but throughout this, the bulk of this uh, tent, we're hitting some pretty even numbers. And the third reading is at 18 inches, about 1090 PPFD in the middle. Notice how that uniformity holds as we move towards the back, about 940. In the corner, about 745, and this left side, just over 800. So 18 inches is, I'd say, a good sweet spot for flowering. Um, you know, you're gonna be able to move it a little bit closer as well. I'll show you the numbers here in a second. But 18 inches is a distance where I wouldn't, um, you know, move it farther away from if you're gonna be flowering with this fixture. All right, and 12 inches. About 1234 in the middle. And same here, notice how that uniformity is holding to the back and to the corner, our lowest point, about 770. And this other side, about 786. So some really good numbers through here. Again, 18 to 12 inches is gonna be your sweet spot for this light. And our last reading at about six inches. About 1300 in the middle. And then moving towards the back. About 1334 into the corner. About 743. So jumping around a little bit there, it's hard to get an exact number. And the left side about 620. So the numbers are gonna jump around a lot more here because the bars are so close to the sensor. So when I'm right under the bar, it's gonna be a high number. And when I'm in between the bars, it's gonna be a lower number. So I'd say six inches is a little bit too close, but notice even at six inches, if you have the leaves reach this high, you're not hitting like 3,000, 4,000 PPFD. So you're not gonna burn your plants. All right, and that wraps it up. The 1700E is a high quality LED grow light with exceptional uniformity and light output for a 4x4 area. Home growers and commercial growers will both benefit from this LED grow light. But does the Kavita 1700E stand out in a market crowded with LEDs? Well, yes and no. The light output on the 1700E is great, but also in line with many other lights on the market now. I've tested lights with similar efficacy and light output that would grow nearly the same as this LED. So why the Gavita 1700E? The fixture really stands out because of the name Gavita on the side of the fixture. Growers know what to expect when purchasing this brand. For example, there are very few warranty issues and returns on the 1700E. I would speculate this is because of the quality diodes and high diode count which underdrives the diodes and increases their lifespan, and also because of the efficient Phillips drivers that power the diodes. The five-year warranty also gives growers peace of mind if anything goes wrong with this fixture within that time period. Can this fixture be improved upon? When I reviewed the 1650E, I noticed the build was flimsy. The 1700E feels more stable so I can't list this as a con anymore, but the 1700E is a little thin and minimal. The upside of this is that it cuts down on the weight of the fixture, coming in at just over 28 pounds. Also, the cord is not in the best place for 4x4 tent applications. If you notice in the review, it is pushing up against the edge of the tent. 
While the light fits, I suppose that there would be even less room when the 10 walls are being sucked in due to negative air pressure. Outside of the build, the only other improvement I can think of is the fixture efficacy. It's not bad coming in at 2.6 micromoles per joule, but as we approach 2022, more LED companies will start reaching or exceeding 3.0 micromoles per joule as the diode cost for more efficacious chips comes down. It'll be nice to see Gavita, and other companies for that matter, start bumping up their efficacy. Another suggestion I have for Gavita is to allow the controller to dim the fixture down to 10% or off instead of only down to 50%. This would make the fixture more versatile. So these are my small gripes about the fixture. Overall, growers will find this to be an excellent LED grow light to illuminate their garden. So what do you like or dislike about this fixture? Let me know in the comments below. The Gavita Pro 1700E is currently listed at $1,199. There's a link for the Gavita Pro product page in the description if you want to learn more or purchase this fixture. These lights ship for free in the lower 48 states with no tax in the USA. Smash the like button and subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing popular LED grow lights. And check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways, sales, and other great content. Link below. Keep on growing, everyone.